throughout history, it has always been hard to be a woman. Women's underwear as we know it today didn't even exist until the 19th century, which I can't imagine was very exciting during a time when proper tampons and pads had yet to be invented. I suppose women had to carry around leg wipes. Before the 1800s, women only had available to them types of loincloths and frames made of anything from wire to whalebone. I'm guessing this made their baby makers easy access for the waves of conquerors who came through their towns. Historically, it has always been hard for women to keep men out of their badges. Absolutely nothing has changed. Karen, you want Von to just be your friend? No red lipstick. Mm -mm. I don't need to look like a monster to cut him out of my life. I wear this all the time. Okay, men like women who look like whores because they know that whores are attracted to hot guys. So if a guy sleeps with a girl that looks like a whore, it means that he's hot. You follow? No red lipstick. Mm. None. So you want me to go to lunch looking like a T-Rex meets Madeline Albright? Okay, Madeline Albright is an outstanding role model for young women. And I don't wear lipstick. <sighs> Look, you want him to just back off, let me do your makeup, and wear what I say. Hey! Uh, no flowers today, see? I promise. Cool, dude. Uh, ow! What? What did you hit me? Oh, can't take it? No, it's not- Ow! What are you hitting me for? Ow, that really hurt. Jeez, oh. what's wrong with you? Oh, sorry! Can we go and have lunch? I'm gonna keep yeah, punching me, do you no. want yeah, yeah, you no. do, you don't want to. This new style of jockstrap will make your groin into a celebrity. And when... Hey, Joanna. Hey, person. Oh, that's Yolanda. Want to do lunch with us? I really need to have some boy talk and I could use some gay input. Yeah, sure. I always love lending my services. This is perfect, actually, because I was supposed to have lunch with Francesca and Ross, but I have no idea where they went. Faster! Now let me just save. So, tell me how to get a guy to be into me less. Uh, are you sure you want to be talking to me about Ross? Best friends. I'm not talking about Ross. So like what, do I dust fugly? Does that work? No. How do you know this guy? I work out with him. You were gonna say work with him. You were talking about Ross, stop it. <laughs> Yes, okay, fine. But if you're his best friend, just help me not hurt him. Teach me how to be less attractive to him. One time, I was on a date and I ordered ham. And there was still some fur on the skin, so the guy tried to order me a new plate. I told him no, because I love it when there's those baby furs still on meat. I said, you know, it makes me feel like I'm eating something real and wild, you know? It makes me feel human. Anyways, I never heard from him again. Rats. Ross hates rats. Ah, ah, get it! Where is it? I am trying! Uh, Why are you wearing high heels and oven mitts? Is this your attempt at doing drag because it's not working? Right? No, there's a rat! A rat? <laughs> rats. Cherish that advice. Rats. Isn't that the worst advice you've ever heard? Huh? Sorry. Um. I was thinking about bacon. Mm. You do it all the time. <laughs> Thanks for having lunch with me. Mm. Thanks for taking me to your restaurant. Uh -huh. It's a nice place. And I get a pretty good discount. Mm. Perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm handling this whole friends thing a lot better than I expected. You're such a great girl, you know? You're pretty, you're smart. But most importantly, you're, you're fun, you know? And that's exactly what I need in my life right now. Fun people. Do you want a napkin? You've got a little... Hell no. That's what I remember most, you know, when we first met. Uh, how much fun we had. I, it didn't even cross my mind that we're going to go home together or anything. All right, Karen, what are you doing? Uh, what, is, what is this? You're, you, you open a door like you don't care. 
You're stuffing your face like a slob. You're so confident. <laughs> Not careful. You're gonna make me fall in love with you. <laughs> Kick me out again? I never kicked you out. You left to be a singer. You know what? I don't like that tone. I was a working singer. Every restaurant patron in the town of Aberdeen Gardens knew the sounds of Lisa Boitano. I gave you a hundred chances, Lisa Boitano. Give me that flask. You can pry it from my cold, sober fingers. You're actually gonna put me out while I'm drinking? You don't let me drive, drunk. You never cared about me. <laughs> I never cared about you. Mm -mm. Why do you think I asked you here? If I'm gonna have this baby, I wanted to make sure that I was okay with my family. How am I gonna do that? If I can't even get along with the family that I already have. <laughs> You're gonna be a good mother, friend. Everybody knows that. I don't. It's water. You sober up. You can come back. I escaped from the witch. What are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm actually pretty busy. I have a pet I take care of most nights. She was actually feeling kind of lonely, so I brought her in. <laughs> Wanna pet her? No, thank you. I love rats. Why? Because I was born in the year of the rat, and I guess my obsession started at birth. I gotta, uh, I gotta get back to work. Yes, Meryl Streep and I have a lot of work to do, too. Don't we, Meryl? Don't we? Yes, we do. Your plan failed. I'm never listening to you again. I don't understand. Men want us to be honest and real. I should have been a slore again. What? Slot whore. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is why my marriage failed. <laughs> Yes. How much have you thought this through? I have to work on the family that I already have. Well, when I had a child, it put a lot of things into perspective. It also fixed a lot of things with my father. I just thought you should know that. I can't. All right, honey, then let's do this. You're gonna be fine, do not worry. We're gonna take good care of you. And it's also really good that you're, you're taking initiative to work things out with your family. You deserve to be happy. And sometimes it can be really hard to be a woman. Yeah. I could use a drink. And your wife Clarissa is here in bed with me. <laughs> Stop. I am fine drinking by myself. Nobody likes a miscarriage. Down